The book of Daniel, chapter 11, verse 32b says, But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Welcome to the BWGM January 2023 Prayer Month with the theme, Hold Firm and Do Exploits. Good day to you, my brethren. My name is Adako. Follow you. And today we are going to be looking at dealing with all manners of obstacles and barriers that the enemy attempts to bring on the way of our spouses and our children. We all know what an obstacle is. Anything that blocks, prevents, and hinders progress. I would like for us to read Proverbs chapter 16. Verse 4, the word of God says, The Lord has made everything for his own purposes. Colossians 1.16 says, For by him were all things created, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions, principalities or powers, all things were made by him and for him. Revelation 4.11 says, For thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive all glory, honor and power for thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure they are and were created with all with these scriptures we've been able to establish that everything god made is for a purpose god made all things for his own purposes and understanding that purpose would help us do exploit so god instituted our families for his own purposes how many of us understands that? How many of us have been able to understand that we don't just live for ourselves? There's a reason that God instituted our families and we are to live for Him. It's the responsibility of the head of the home to communicate the purpose of God to every member of the family and ensures that everyone aligns with it and runs with it. The word of God says in Genesis 18, 19, I know Abraham that he will command members of his household after him. So understanding the place of purpose will help us live for him who has made us and not we ourselves. There's a saying that says, where purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. If you don't understand the reason why you exist, you will just live for yourself. So, understanding the place of purpose is key to doing exploit. Number two, other things that I also think that the devil will use as an obstacle to hinder a child of God from making spiritual progress is conflict, strife, anger, bitterness, unforgiveness. Where these things are, you cannot do exploits. How do we manage our anger? How do we resolve our conflict? Do we hold on to things for too long? Or we let go and let God in? The word of God has commanded us to walk in forgiveness. How many of us are walking in forgiveness? Because definitely somebody must step on your toes. Somebody must offend you. How do you manage that? Ephesians 4 from verse 26, 27 says, Be angry and sin not. Let not someone go down upon your heart, neither give the devil a place. If we walk in these things, we are opening ourselves up and the devil might take advantage. And you know that if you give him an inch, he takes a yard. So we have to trust God to be able to walk in forgiveness, letting go, making amends, he said to which that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing unto them the unrighteousness, and he has committed to them the word of reconciliation. We all know that the devil is out there attacking families. Today there's high rate of divorce among Christians, and you hear things like irreconcilable differences. But the word of God said he has committed unto us the ministry of reconciliation. With the help of the Holy Spirit, there's no difference that 
He cannot help us reconcile. So, walking in the light of the scriptures, trusting God to help us, we will be able to do exploit. Remember, one can chase 1,000, but two will chase 10,000. There's power in working together. Number three, our relationship with one another. Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 21 to 33, Ephesians 6 from verse 1 to 4. It's spelled out there how the wife is supposed to relate with her husband, husbands with their wives, children with their parents, parents with children. If we walk in the light of the scriptures, we will be able to do it. Exploit. Now, in parenting our children, you will agree with me that it's tougher these days. But we are not afraid. The word of God says, We are sin not abound. Grace much more abounds. We have to learn to trust God. Remember, they belong to Him. He's their owner. We are just custodians. We have to constantly go to Him in the place of prayer. Carry it as a burden to God. Jesus prayed a prayer when he was to ascend. He said, Father, he prayed for his disciples. He said, I'm not praying that you take them out of this world, but that you preserve them from the evil that is in this world. The same prayer we pray for our children, that the Lord will preserve them. These children are facing pressure on daily basis, left, right, and center, like 100 times what we face through in our time. But the grace of God is sufficient for us. The grace of God is there to help us. We have to constantly go to God in the place of prayer. Receive wisdom from God to know how to parent every child because each child is unique. The principle that works for A might not work for B. The one that works for C might not work for D. We have to be sensitive and be designing to know how to parent each child so that the purpose of God will be accomplished in their lives. So as we press in the place of prayer today with the few prayer points and as many that the Holy Spirit will give us in the place of prayer, let us open our hearts and trust God, leaning on Him and depending on Him. Remember, His grace is sufficient for us all. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you for joining in on today's episode of this podcast. Join us again, same time, same place tomorrow for another insightful episode. God bless you.